Welcome to CID First Shots. I'm Will. This is Will. Hi. And he's Will. That wasn't hello. 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 <laughs> there you go. Hello. 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 <laughs> and Jackson is back there. He'll be fielding questions. Look, we got we got caught up in the Will hello. Hello. The Will low. Will. <gasps> Amazing. It's the best. <laughs> the best. Yeah. So why are we here? It wasn't just to say hello over and over again. We We're, could do that for 45 minutes. We though. could. We could. We should. We could answer <laughs> questions about it. <laughs> no, so we're here to talk about the uh, Trencher CID patch, I mm -hmm. guess, that just went up today. Uh, it had some big changes. Um, it had some cool stuff for Storm Lances. It had some great things for the Rocket Turret, Trencher Cannon Crews, Trencher Chain Gun Crews, mm -hmm. all mm -hmm. that good stuff. So we're going to talk about all of that. Mm -hmm. Woo! Which one should we start with? I mean, the top of my page has the rocket turret on. I want to start with the back you're, of the you're page. You're a liar. start with the back of the page? Okay. Well, you're the boss, so. Am you I do, the boss? You do you. Hello. Hello. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> All right. So, uh, Marcus Siege Brisbane. We had a yes. lot of feedback on this guy. We did, and we decided not to include any changes to Siege 2, uh, specifically as the caster, mm -hmm. because we are going to start a dev talk immediately after this mm -hmm. discussion here. Uh, and what that dev talk is going to be about is really the direction that players want to see him go because we had a lot of really solid feedback and a lot of people winning games. Uh, but people, after they would win their game, would say, like, well, this is good and it functions, but it's not really fun and it's not really exciting. Mm -hmm. So what the dev talk is going to be a lot about is how to, uh, what, what players would think is exciting and good for Siege to be doing on a turn-to-turn -turn basis instead of just being a solid, powerful caster. Yeah, yeah, it was neat to see some of the comments about how people thought he was a good model, but he wasn't on concept. Yes. Like, based on what he was described as and stuff. So I think that was a really great kind of show into what CID is supposed to be all about, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, th this siege smashes holes in things with melee instead of shooting. Certainly. So certainly. We're, we're trying to lean more into that and get some people's opinions and talk about it for a, a while and then put out a test version of him after that yes. dev talk. So it's very likely that we'll get a new version of siege probably tomorrow. Mm. Uh, after we've had the talk run for about a day. Uh, so jumping right in. But the rocket turret changed. We've mm -hmm. got the rocket turret. The yeah. rocket turret picked up uh, quite a few quality of life changes. One, it picked up gun platform. So if somebody That's runs a model nice. to engage it, it can still shoot. It can even use its return fire shot, which is not called return fire, but I'm blanking on the name at the moment. Um, <laughs> it can shoot the guy that runs up to it. And then it also ignores its own blast damage, as yeah. well as everything else's blast damage, because immediately once we changed it so that you could shoot while it was engaged. High explosive became kind of a problem. Uh, correct. You need a nine <laughs> to kill yourself. It became self-destructive. Yeah, yeah, you need a nine to kill yourself, which is like 30% chance to kill yourself, yeah. which is really unfortunate. It's a little yeah. high. So, uh, but yeah, so that happened with the rocket turret, and that came pretty much directly out of uh, some community suggestions mm -hmm. through our feedback form, which was awesome. Uh, Oz, you want to tackle the Grenadier? So the Grenadier can shoot. But we wanted to differentiate him some from the more specifically shooting lights mm -hmm. in the game. So we're giving his Matic, his digging tool, brutal charge. Which is pretty nice. We talked a little bit about how, like, which direction to go. And we landed yesterday. We, we talked about a couple different things. My favorite was armor piercing on yep. the Matic because it's pointy. It does. Yeah. It, I mean, is that the qualification yes. for armor? Is it pointy? Ooh. Armor piercing. All right. It has to dig into ground. Why can't it dig into armor? That's going to be a big errata shake. <laughs> There's a lot of pointy things in this game. It's going to mess a lot of stuff Sounds up. Sounds good. Sounds Let's, you need one, yeah. right? You right. yeah. got this. We'll, we'll just start get all the models. We'll poke them with our fingertip, and we like, oh, yeah, that's, that's armor piercing. Pointy things <laughs> gain armor piercing. Yeah. But no, so <laughs> we landed on Brutal Charge. It gives it a yes. effective POW plus strength 15 on the charge, which is significant compared to what other lights are kind of outputting, mm -hmm. especially in faction, mm -hmm. with most of them at 13s. I, uh, I think it also ties very well into the theme for the uh, for Gravediggers, because a lot of the feedback we've been receiving is that there's not nearly as much armor punching in, available in this mm -hmm. theme as there are in some yeah. others, because they're missing things like Storm Lances or Storm Blades, or they don't have all of the mercenary options that a lot of these other non-theme lists have, like Iron Hold, for example, with Murdoch. Uh, so this adds a little bit more armor punch to mm -hmm. it without having to bring in all the character mercenaries and stuff for Iron Hold. Right. Which I personally really like the, the theme of it. And I've always just been a huge fan of Grenadiers anyway. Yeah. So I mean, now you can have your dogs loading Grenadiers, so that's and, pretty sweet. And a house. Doing and your, yeah, you and your bunker. There are people in the house, though, so that's not yeah. as impressive. But, but, like, that dog is well-trained. Oh, yeah. He's, he's a yeah. good boy. He is. He's mm -hmm. a good boy. He's a good boy. Maybe he's a girl. You don't he's know. He's a good girl. Good girl. It's a good dog. <laughs> good dog. They're all good dogs. They're all good dogs. Bark, bark. Look, War <laughs> Snuzzle's the uh, trencher dog. I'm just saying. Oh, that's his name now? I know, I know Dallas's yeah, name, dude. I was unaware. I don't remember what the name was. I don't know. I mean, he had a rank as well. I My name is Lieutenant. War Snuzzles. Lieutenant War Snuzzles? Lieutenant War Snuzzles. Reporting for duty. Absolutely. <laughs> I like I, it. I'm excited. I like it. I'm in. Let's do this. <laughs> okay, so next up, we've got Storm Lances on our list of alphabetical stuff here. 
Yes, it is alphabetical. <laughs> I just had to check that for a moment. Double check. Uh, so Stormlights did receive a change after a very long and heated discussion in a dev talk. Uh, first off, I just want to say good job to the guys in that dev talk. We had to give out almost no infractions and ban no one, I don't think, from that dev talk. Uh, so you guys really did a great job behaving yourselves, keeping comments mm -hmm. constructive, keeping it away from personal attacks. Amazing yeah. job, guys. Amazing job. It's kind uh, of stuff we like to see, right? <clears throat> absolutely, absolutely. And it, it, it's great. It's great. It's everything we could hope out of CID. Mm -hmm. uh, so the Storm Lances are being pushed a little more towards the armor cracking, uh, heavy hitting side of mm -hmm. cavalry. A little more lancey than, than gunny. A little more mm -hmm. lancey than stormy, yes. Yeah. Uh, and it'll get too lancey here because we're not giving them the lance rule. That's true. They're, they're not going to get it. It's yeah. also not going away. So a lot of people have been asking us for that. Lance rule's not going away. Storm Lances will not be getting the lance rule. Uh. Uh, but the, the feedback that we did see inside of that thread had a lot of stuff about how uh, Storm Lances were able to do everything, and it's kind of something we touched on in the original mm -hmm. post for that thread. And one of the best ways that we found to remove that kind of everything happens is to remove a little bit of power and accuracy from their shooting. So mm -hmm. the ladder more change that we're going to talk about here in a little bit does mm -hmm. that. Uh, and then removing Electro Lance from their ranged attack. Leap. Electro, Electro Leap. Electro Leap. Whatever. Electro Leap from their... What did I say? Electro Lance? Uh -huh. That's, That's the name of the weapon. That's yeah. the name of the, the Electro Lance yeah. loses their, Electro Leap. You remove, I mean, effectively. <laughs> they don't have a Lance anymore. You remove the Electro Lance from their Electro Lance. <laughs> yes. Uh, so the, the Electro Leap off of their ranged attack really helps... Uh, it, make, it forces them to commit a lot more if they want to mm -hmm. kill infantry, yeah. and it really um, removes a, just a very large amount of their anti-infantry mm -hmm. capabilities, bringing them into this. They, they can still murder s swaths of infantry, but they have to get in yeah. and, and, and do it in melee now. Yeah, one of the things we talked about was drawing back to take inspiration from their Mark I rules, where for those veterans out there who remember, they used to be able to create these really cool electro fields between themselves with an order and kind of like mow down infantry with mm -hmm. an electric like fence. Yeah. Um, and so the Electro Leap on the melee weapon still made sense because that was something that we envisioned them doing, right? They're supposed to get in there and electrocute everybody. You see that in Striker 2 with his horse, or Striker 3. Striker also with his horse, Striker 3. <laughs> yeah. Not Striker 2 <laughs> with two. Striker. Hello! <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Yep. Exactly. Regardless, <laughs> uh, so keeping Electro Leap on the melee attack was really kind of core when we started breaking down what we wanted these guys to do and what we had always kind of designed them to be. And then to kind of give them back the hitting power that they lose from Lattermore just a little bit, we added an extra POW onto the Lance uh, for their melee attack. So they are going to go up to POW 8, which makes them a total of POW 14, or a brutal charge of POW 16, making them... It's, it's, it ma it it's makes a, them compete, I think, pretty well on the charge with... Uh, you know, some of the other heavy cav options like Ulans. Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, Ulans, Vingers are all very Vingers, similar. Yeah. So I think that overall I'm excited to put them on the table for sure and charge some things with them. Yes. We should call them Electro Chargers. How about Storm Chargers? Storm Chargers? Or run it past. Mm -hmm. Charge Lancers. Mm -hmm. Charge Lancers. Sure. Let's do it. Got it. So this one's an easy yeah, one, the it. Trencher Gun gun Crew. Chain, chain Gun chain Crew. Gun crew. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, it dropped a point. Not a big change, uh, but we do know that there are a huge amount of free options available in this theme, so it's very unlikely that your free option will be the Trencher Chain Gun mm -hmm. Crew. Uh, so that point to us seemed very relevant, whereas a lot of the times uh, dropping points on, say, like the Cannon Crew, for example, may not be as relevant to a lot of people doing list building stuff. Because that point cost is zero? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, exactly. So, so the Cannon Crew, we felt that that was very relevant uh, to do that because it will very rarely be one of your free options, even though it could be. Um, so hopefully we can see a couple more pop up in lists, especially mm -hmm. now as we go into uh, a more infantry centric thing with mm -hmm. SR 2017, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and then as theme forces come out, uh, they will promote more infantry as well. So the cannon crew is probably going to gain some stock from that as well. Chain gun crew. Chain gun crew. The cannon mm -hmm. crew already has great stock. I love words. <laughs> yep. <laughs> they all start with C. It's okay. Just, just go with hello. Got it. <laughs> At some point, we're going to talk about Cotor heavies. And that's it. <laughs> yeah. the, the decimate destroyer. <laughs> Decimator destroyer. Decimator. Well throw in dervish. Let's just put the all the, D, mater. the D the D heavies in there. Mm -hmm. Trencher commando officer. Yes. Yes. So he he's close to where we want him to be. Oh my god. But he is not the end of the world. He's, he's, he's not quite there. So we just dropped his points a little bit. Because in comparison with other units and things, that package, we wanted mm -hmm. to be a little bit cheaper. Mm -hmm. But we didn't want to change his rules or his power level or any of that stuff because we are still pretty convinced that, like Hungerford was saying last week, that this guy blows up the world. <laughs> yes, I, I do feel Murders. like not very many people yeah. are, uh, are taking this unit at the moment in CID, so I would encourage you guys to try it out a little bit more. Yeah. 
I think you'll be surprised with your findings. There's it's, it's a lot of PAL 14s. It's real good. Yeah. 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 Uh, next up, Trencher Express team kind of ties back into the commandos. Um, to me, the Trencher Express team was always sort of the commando version of a weapon crew. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, so they're kind of sneaking around uh, in forests or rubble or things like that. And uh, they picked up Pathfinder with this, with this change here. And that really lets them be a little more uh, different, I guess, from the yeah, other Yeah, now the they're the most crews. mobile of mm -hmm. the weapon crew. Absolutely. So, so through uh, the ability to move, dig in, and fire, and then also having Pathfinder, uh, I, I think there's no contest that they'll be moving around the board mm -hmm. a lot and occupying spaces of the board where other trenchers may not want to go because they don't have Pathfinder. They'll function like that elite sniper team that you imagine where they're crawling through the bushes, you know, mm -hmm. yeah. not tripping over themselves. They're going to hide in rubble and yes. snipe from there. Lieutenant War Snuzzles. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> the you patrol get, dog. You're going to get me every time so, with this. I know. Shit. Well, that's because Lieutenant War Snuzzles is the best. He, he, he's a good boy. I mean, can you imagine when he gets shot on the field and it's oh. like, Lieutenant War Snuzzles, no! <laughs> Hello! <laughs> <laughs> We're just going to keep going back yeah, to that one. We're, we are. Uh, <laughs> mostly because it just throws you off your game every, every time. This every is time. how I every win time. against every Pagani. Time. Yeah. Uh, so he's like this one is a is a revision back to kind of his original version after changes, but with some changes in between. Kind of yes. So the pendulum continues to swing. That was very clear, by the way. I know, wasn't yeah. it? He'll <laughs> explain it. Clear. Yeah. Uh, so originally, noisy started off at a uh, eight inch bubble around Lieutenant Snuzzles. War snuzzles. War snuzzles. War snuzzles. Lieutenant snuzzles. War snuzzles. Yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. The patrol dog. Uh -huh. uh, so that everything around him lost uh, stealth. stealth as mm -hmm. he. Barked at barked them and at pointed them, yeah. at them or whatever. Yeah. That's a lot of people to bark at at one time. Bark, bark. Well, I mean, I, once I believe your dog's it. barking, you start looking. I believe it. Yeah. Right. I believe You're it. not. He doesn't uh, get to be a lieutenant <clears throat> by being wrong. So, <laughs> so then it became a uh, star action and five inches. And what we saw from the battle reports and stuff from that kind of uh, change was that it was not being utilized very well. Like, yeah. It wasn't functional. Well, uh, and yeah. the other problem was that Lieutenant War Snuzzles had a very short life expectancy. Correct. Yeah. Because uh, he would go up and bark, bark, and then all of a sudden he would get hit by a grenade. <laughs> yes. One of your, yeah. we, we saw several battle reports where the grenadier or the commando grenades killed the dog, <laughs> which is tragic. It, I mean, <laughs> it's, that's just feel bads. Yeah. But yeah, we, yeah. we reduced the effective range of it in two ways originally because mm -hmm. we made it smaller and we made it a star action so he couldn't run all the way across mm -hmm. the board mm -hmm. and still have that full range but that was a little bit too far of a of a change in the negative mm -hmm. so we kind of rolled back part of that yes so it is now eight inches and uh no it, eight inches and a star action yeah so you can walk seven use it eight inches you get a 15 yeah. inch thread out of it instead of a 12 inch thread mm -hmm. so hopefully that'll be a little more useful and he's still two points so I mean, like yeah, yeah. yeah, and and we've said several times in CID, we would rather him be less powerful and stay two points mm -hmm. than more powerful and go up in mm -hmm. points because having those uh, small little point differentiators is mm -hmm. is important in the game. Uh, so we've got Lattermore next. We've kind of already touched on this a little bit. Uh, it was once again the change to her, which is removing Electro Charger and adding Veteran Leader Storm Knights. Uh, does an excellent job of removing some of the ranged threat from Storm Lances, mm -hmm. which is not the direction that we're trying to go with those at the moment. So. I love it. It also brings out a bunch of stuff for other Storm Knights. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, which... Blades we, don't mind plus one to their rat. Oh, certainly not. Certainly not. not. Like assaulting blades from downtown with Snipe is one of my favorite things ever. Mm -hmm. uh, we do know that Storm Guard are not exactly on the highest pit at the moment. We got a lot of feedback about those, but right now is not the time for that. In the future, we will have a CID cycle for mm -hmm. Storm Nouns. Yeah. I guess I'm gonna have to call them storm Never say that ever again. You, I like storm names. <sighs> Never again. Because that would Never. be storm raptors, and that would be everything. Oh no! Like that would be be more. That would things. be an amazing theme force. Storm raptors. Storm raptors and storm blades. In the faction we're talking about right now. Oh sure. Striker, four Striker. riding a storm raptor. Uh huh. Metal as hell. I like where you're going here, buddy. <laughs> So back to trenchers. <laughs> well, go Blockhouse. Ahead. Go ahead. Blockhouse. Blockhouse. Talk about the um, trencher party mm. town. USA. I wasn't part of any of the discussions on this, so oh. I want to listen to, I want <laughs> wow. to, listen to Pagani way to, on this. Way to pull the veil off that secret. Yeah. Sure, sure. Well, I've been, so, I've been very busy working on Company of Iron sure. stuff this no, that's week. Fair. So that's fair. Which see, you I, cannot take a blockhouse in. Yeah. You could fight over a blockhouse, though. You could. You could put a blockhouse on the table but yeah. fight over it. 
But yeah, I, so I have not been a part of every single conversation mm. about changes, mm. and this is the one I missed. So the big one with this one was we were we got a lot of feedback on how the master gunner interaction with the blockhouse was making it a little too effective for its points. Um, and so basically we just took weapon crew off, so no more shooting twice with your with your master gunner. Um, really, he should be making the cannons shoot twice anyway. Yeah, yeah, it, it does open up the space for the the trencher cannons, not the chain guns. Not the, chain the cannons. Uh, to be firing twice to really get that hard hitting long range mm -hmm, gun mm -hmm. uh, for yeah. the trenchers. And then it also, uh, we also took out one of the trenches. Mm -hmm. And the reason we did that is we were seeing all these boards and these battle reports where they had the SR 2017 terrain set up and it was really dense and all this kind of stuff. And then you add six more pieces of terrain <laughs> on top of that, mm -hmm. yeah. which was a huge amount of terrain. Uh, so with two additional trenches, I think that's a little more reasonable. We may also end up modifying this further mm -hmm. in terms of how the trenches are placed and where they can be placed. So keep an eye on the blockhouse. The other big thing too is like, um, why take off weapon crew? Because some people really like the shooting twice. Again, it's a point cost thing, right? Like taking off yeah. the weapon crew allowed us to keep it at the point cost. Yeah. I think it, you know, we see a lot of doubles being run and I think that's great, so. Yeah, the, the answer is not always just make it cost Correct. Because we do yeah. want things to fit in armies. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, and just to bring up Schick saying that it's great that people are running doubles, I love that as well because mm -hmm. to me it's just it's so cinematic, yeah. right? Like I love like, seeing the board set up and they've got the two block houses and the mm -hmm. trenches and it just it looks awesome on the table. Yeah, and it just has me really excited for this guy. Uh, and then the last change that we made was to the Gravedigger's theme force, mm -hmm. uh, which is to allow rangers to be included for free models. Uh, and what that does is when we took them out of the free models, they pretty much disappeared from all of the lists. Uh, mm -hmm. People didn't think that they were good enough on their own mm -hmm. to to take, so adding them back into the three models will hopefully get them put back into the lists. So. Yeah, and this benefits bounce back and forth internally oh, yeah, yeah. a bit with saying units and then saying trencher units and then now saying trenchers mm -hmm. and rangers. Trenchers and rangers. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And solos weren't allowed originally. They are now. So We even talked about grenadiers for one point. That mm -hmm. turned out to be not great. No. You no, get a 28 free points. <laughs> yeah, it was, it was a bit much. So that yeah. Was, so yeah, it. so that one definitely has gone back and forth a lot. Yep. Jackson, do we have any questions from the chat? Uh, not that are really pertaining to what we're talking about right now. There's, there's questions about things like the Revelator and stuff like that, but that's not really, it's not for today. The Revelator. The Revelator. Wow. Schick forgot what it was. I know. <laughs> it was a revelation. <laughs> what is that thing? I, we don't make that, right? I mean, I think we have. Maybe in the past? No. Oh. Or maybe Perhaps. in the future. The future. The future. All right. Well, if we have no questions pertaining to trenchers or CID in general. Not right now. But if they do have questions, I hope they come up as we're talking about things. But is it mm -hmm. like we're getting into more? We uh, will fill this time slot is what Jackson's saying. We will. Well, like there been any company of iron questions under that we those can lights. There's no, there's no company of iron questions. They're more like if you guys are wanting to tackle it right now, there's a yeah, question. Yeah, give us of, a we'll couple. We'll see you get a character man. Uh, oh. I mean, he's already got a character mm -hmm. defender. We don't want to spark like a love triangle. Oh, <laughs> how do the two Jacks love each other? They don't. They both love Siege. Oh, that's what love triangle. And then is? they tear him yes. in half. Well, that somebody's got to be like you know. I've been using that word wrong forever. <laughs> oh, we'll have to talk about this later. Yeah, <laughs> it seems like an off the air discussion. <laughs> a really <laughs> weird soap opera. It sounds like a, a, another time for that. <laughs> so, uh, like we always say, on an infinite timeline, anything is possible, but we, we don't want to hit the same notes too often in model design. I mean, I think the better question I would ask is when does Siege get his, like, jetpack commandos? Sure. That's a good question. That's a good question. Shit. That's what I want to see. When, when do we get people writing something weird? And like what? dolphins? Yeah, I mean, there's, a million, made that. there's a million questions. Pirates riding dolphins. <laughs> yeah. It was the yeah, best yeah. cav unit ever. Uh -huh. Can only, it, only small water features? Uh, I think they might have been flying dolphins. <laughs> I mean, I will, I will continue to take this stream <laughs> just, down the tubes. Well, I'm going to get, I'm gonna try to get it back on track to some extent. This is a question yeah. in line with things for the future. Uh, from Timo, I apologize if I murder names as I'm reading things. What is the vision for Stormguard in general? Ooh. Ooh. Uh, Stormguard, their concept to me at the very least, is a very defensive version of the Storm Knights. So kind of what we saw with Bane Knights, I think, could be something similar. Mm. So they yeah. could pick up sort of these defensive abilities. Uh, they already have set defense. They already have polarity shield on the two different types of Stormguard. Uh, that, to me, is their purpose. 
I think this could be a place where we could add in uh, electroleap synergies, things like that. And then, of course, they both have this different weapon on their unit leader. Uh, so those, I think, could bring a little more utility to the field. Yeah, I mean, the original, I mean, the original fiction fluff reason for Storm Guard even existing on the field is that Leto, they were originally Leto's personal guard, he sends them out to go support the troops. So you're right. They're very, like, they used to be bodyguards. They used to be mm -hmm. the guys that you would yeah. see in the throne room standing there, like, all stoic and, and sad. Why don't they have giant fuzzy hats? Uh, they're not Sigmar British. They don't have a lot of fuzzy animals. No, they're not British. They're Signarin. Oh. Well, I mean, they could have fuzzy hats, but, <laughs> like, then they'd have fuzzy hats and the duck bills. That would be awesome. It'd be weird. Awesome. It'd be weird. Kador, Kador has fuzzy hats, too. Yeah. Like, yeah. Kador would be like, I'm talking like, you stole tall fuzzy. fuzzy Cater could have tall, fuzzy hats. But you don't, don't know. I bet they do. Yeah. Belichev's hat's pretty hot. Earth's yeah. hat's really tall. It's just yeah. not fuzzy. Yeah. So to me, I would like to see the defensive <laughs> portion. I Hello. Believe, there yeah. you go. Thank you. That's so, the transition point. So they're the, they're the, the defensive yes. side of the mm -hmm. Storm mm -hmm. Knights. So I think if we could add in some things that push that a little farther, maybe that could make mm -hmm. the, de the design space hashtag for them. Seems good answers. Uh, this is a question I think we all have a good answer to, but a question brought up. I love oh, questions I already have answers to. I know. Uh, from Jason Shroomham, is CID meant to be continuous? As in one cycle immediately after another? No. No. The Definitely the goal is to have cycles happen with space in between. And I'm pretty sure that we've seen that so far and that's going to continue. So like when this one wraps up, I think we have two or three weeks off. I believe it's two, but yeah. And, yeah. uh, and so you're probably looking at that, you know, like two to three weeks at the most for most of them. Um, and then depending on how long the cycle goes, how much is in there. But the goal is not to have people CID all the time, right? The, the goal for CID is to make, you know, to make the game enjoyable and fun for everyone and to let you guys have input. But ultimately, so you can go have fun playing the actual game and not just CID. Yeah. Um, if that's what you want to do, that's awesome, and please continue to do so. But like, I really encourage people all the time when I'm talking to them about CID. It's like, don't lose sight of what CID is for, and that's to go play the game that we all enjoy and we have fun with, and that now we all get to have a, a hand in in making the best it can be. Um, so you know, take breaks. Don't don't feel like you have to contribute to CID all the time. Um, play and play play with the things that you've worked um, with us on. Like that's absolutely important. Um, and so we're trying to work in as many gaps as we can to, to make that happen. And also because we need time to process the feedback and, you know, yeah. do the stuff that we do to get that, to get the models out and the rules out and everything. Cause it doesn't just happen at, you know, a snap of the fingers. There's a lot of effort and people behind the scenes here who do all kinds of things to get that stuff to you. And if you're playing after the CID cycle ends, you're not necessarily playing with the final versions of things. Mm -hmm. yeah. Like we make, through discussion and continued playtesting before something is released, we make some tweaks here and there. Mm -hmm. um, so, like, if you're using the last published version of the Steamroller scenarios, mm -hmm. there are things that have changed, maps or Correct. some scenarios well, and some like core the five, rules. The 5 CP kill rule, which yeah. only got revealed yeah. in Hungerford's blog last, this, earlier this week. That hasn't gone out yet. Well, it hasn't. That's yeah. coming. Surprise. Spoiler. <laughs> so, so Shik, Shik I saw it. Shik I isn't sure it. what sure. day it is yeah. of the week. But I yeah. don't. But that's, I, that's what I, I was. I swear you posted that, Jackson. That's what I was no. alluding to. Well, this is why they don't allow me on these things. Yeah. <laughs> so <laughs> To explain what Shik has Wait. just said. Hello. Hello. <laughs> Welcome to CID First Shot Intros. <laughs> Uh, a lot so of to questions explain what Sheik is saying, the uh, Steamroller document is about to receive an insider that shows uh, sort of what our internal stuff has been changing inside of it to give you guys kind of a glimpse of what's coming. It was supposed and to be today. <laughs> well, it was see. supposed to be today. It will it be very still soon. Be it will be today. after we're done here. Yeah. Can I just read it? Right. Can I pull up my phone and read it like right now, just <laughs> word for word? I mean, maybe. Let's get back to <laughs> no, that. No, let's not do that. Uh, but There's one of the changes, of one of the changes that's highlighted inside of that is the uh, win by six rule has changed to a win by five rule, mm -hmm. which we have found has made the scenarios a lot more alive while still kind of retaining the goal that we had to slow them down. Which a little is basically bit. you can't. I mean, the real goal is you can't lock somebody out on scenario and basically Correct. play the Correct. game. Yeah, it's, it's it's much easier to contest scenarios with the new rules because you can score to contest, so you mm -hmm. don't necessarily have to get into their zone. You can get into your zone, mm -hmm. uh, but the six difference was still seen as a little too much of a leap by the community. We tested it more interior here. Interior? Interior. Uh So, yes. So it's gone down to five, and that insider will go live shortly. And other things have happened, too, that Correct. Chick's not going to spoil. 
Well, he might probably. <laughs> but I won't say. At, I at this point, not it could to be say anything. anything out of that blog. <laughs> there are many other blogs that apparently I've read and may not be public. Yeah. Uh, so, little known secret. I like to stage a bunch of things before they go live. Yeah, but yeah. you usually send them like two days before. I saw that thing like three days. It doesn't matter. Read more questions. More questions. More questions. So as we all know, the next cycle for CID is going to be Northken. Yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. People are curious if we can give them a taste of what's coming after Northken. Well, that, that sweet little like, oh, after. You have to watch the lock and load keynote. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. Well, done. So much that, will be revealed. That's what talks about after Northken? Yeah. Well, it also covers what's coming in Northken. Mm. The lock and load keynote because yeah. because North in the city happens before lock and load. Well, it'll have like concept art and stuff. I don't know. That's Maybe fair. it won't have that in there. Sure. <laughs> it will have everything. So, after so no was know. the answer. It I will guess. have everything after North. In the prime cast, <laughs> which true. hasn't been. Posted I think it goes yet? now. Like there's it just a prime cast that has gone Correct. live today. Today there is yeah. one that has already, already gone live. Yeah. yeah. Okay. It's got some other like. So in that one we in that one we mentioned we talk about some Northland stuff and we talk about company buying a bit. And then yeah, the future will will save for lock and load keynote, I guess. Right? I mean, there's there's lots of good stuff. There's, there is. There's things from the swamp and things from the north and. Well, if we're talking like other if we're talking like long schedule, I mean, we've mentioned Man of War theme forces. Yeah, we've and mentioned Man of yes. We're just not talking about specific scheduled mm -hmm. CID cycles mm -hmm. until close to them. Yeah. Right. Because. Production schedules might change or things like that. We don't want to say, well, the next one's going to be oh, might they this change? thing and then have that thing have shifted six months in the schedule or something like that. Six months is generous. Sure, man. Whatever. <laughs> anyway. Things we, things we try to avoid. Thank you, John, for posting the link to Primecast in the comments. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah, go listen to that after you're done You can hear, to like, Will's all over the place. Yeah. I am, man. I had a lot of coffee that day. Yeah. Well, like coffee in general. I'm, I'm an excitable person. <laughs> uh huh. What else we got, Jackson? Um, let's I think see we what we got. Dolphin I'm, Riders I'm again. The Dolphin Riders. Yeah. You can talk about Dolphin do? Riders while I'm looking for for some choice uh, questions to would get. They have asked. like sprays maybe that had flare for like their sonar, so they could like light up targets for other people. I was thinking like they spray people with water, like Ooh. from their blowholes. So like knock down. So like push people back, like at a thunderbolt. Sure, yeah, yeah. Okay. Like a spray. Okay. I mean, it was just like, but they were just pirates riding dolphins. But but would that attack be called like blowhole spray? Yes. <laughs> Quite possibly. Quite possibly. Spray they'd blow? also they'd also spray be blow? really good at attacking legion models. Oh. Because dolphins fight sharks and, and legion oh, models are the closest things to sharks. They do have land sharks. So they'd have vendetta <clears throat> legion. Yeah. Nice. Or they'd have armor piercing nice. like nose it's, attacks. It's all falling apart. It's They're over there like doing their thing. Tony doesn't Questions exist. Are remember? Happening. I think people just want to hear more about the dolphin riders. The dolphin no, there's no they over there. There's only one person Excellent. over there. It's only Jackson. I call Jackson a they. I am a they. He's like Legion. Do you have more questions for us? I'm, you know, there's a lot of questions that just really aren't on point today for, for what we're talking about here. If you want mm. me to invite those into mm. the conversation, give us I'm one that's to. not on point just to test the waters. Okay. Yeah. And if it's super trolly, I will high five the person with a okay. sweet meme. So there is a question about Scorn, the Scorn command book, and if sure. it's going to have themes in it. And it just got solicited today for September. Please, so, yes. I mean, you could answer that. You wrote the I, solicitation. I, I, I mean, could. yes, it, it definitely will have themes I in could it. go get one. You, oh, yeah, there's one here. I just don't know where it's at. It's probably out front with the people. I bet Gabe people. has one. Yeah, probably. With the proofing copies? That'd be yeah. a little off. That'd be a real off point, though. It would be. Yeah. 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 But that was it's a sweet the book. first tread into the water. Mm. Does it feel safe yeah. or does it feel like like dive? I, like I just feel like it feels pretty safe the at the moment. Yeah, yeah, off yeah, the, yeah you want off fine. the deep yeah. end, chick? Yeah. I'm gonna invite disaster into our lives right <laughs> now. That's all right. It's only live, Jackson. There's it's no way to go wrong. This couldn't possibly Plus, it, wrong. Let's it be much. honest. We have the answer for when you ask us something, and we're like abort. Yeah. It's just gonna be hello. <laughs> yeah, I'm just gonna throw my hello. So there's a question about the keynote for lock and load. Can we give them an idea of what that might look like? Uh, yeah, we're gonna. It's gonna be like. Uh, it's going to start at 9 a.m. on Friday, so it's going to open the show. Um, it's going to be probably at least 20 minutes long, but more looking like 30 at this point. Um, we're going to cover a whole bunch of stuff. We're going to cover, uh, like we already talked about, a ton of the forward-looking Theme Force stuff. Um, we've got a few other War Machine and Horde surprise um, releases to announce uh, in terms of models and stuff to expect that um, we haven't really covered yet. Um, that will encompass all the factions. Woo! Mm -hmm. um, we're Spicy. also going to be talking about Company of Iron a bit more um, to prep everybody for when Oz gets to play that with them at Lock and Lane. Yeah. Because that's going to be pretty sweet. Yeah. Yeah. 
Yeah. We're going to take over those rumble tables in Iron Arena. Rumble. We're going to play some company of Iron. Dude, I'll be there. Sure. I won't. I'll be on stream. Because um, I think when you're doing that, we're doing like the massive Boar's Gate thing. Mm. Probably. Yeah. Probably. We have a couple has of, the schedule. Uh, and I don't know if I have one hangout or two hangouts for company. We have a couple other really, two and uh, yeah. it's one really cool <laughs> announcements that are going to be coming out uh, that I can't really mention yet because um, some of them are predicated on a, on a few things being done, but I'm sure we'll at least briefly mention them if we don't go over them completely. Um, but a few things that uh, I think are going to surprise people in terms of um, places that we're going with the games and um, kind of supporting them and stuff. Uh, I'm sure I'm missing stuff because there's like there's so many things. And Tony, who's not here right now, <laughs> um, because he's bad at his job. He just he hit a button and he left. Oh, I just like, came I'm in getting, here and like I'm getting coffee. Jack- Jackson's got it. Um, yeah, I came in here just, and like that's what Tony a does. He doesn't actually work. He just flailing his arms like yeah, mad, pushing it's all the bad. It's I'm like bad. A I'm sure like uh-huh. I'm sure that you're adjusting tracking on your VCRs right now to like make it you know VCRs. Smooth. Yeah, yeah. Remember that when you had to track? Uh, I know track you're showing your age. I don't. Yeah. The, the 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 young one over there. I'm gonna get you a VCR. Yeah. I'm gonna force you to watch. I mean, a I'm v- the young one. VCR tape I, on it. He's the I'm he's the young you, one on screen. I'm be like, yeah. I'm gonna be like yeah, yeah. all right, find my favorite scene in this movie, and you're gonna be like, <laughs> where's the <laughs> menu? Like, yeah. where's the chapter selection? I'll be like, no, no, it's at 4587. If you didn't reset my VCR timer. To make my count off, Tony's dying over there because he remembers all this. Yeah. We've got, see, off the deep end. Hello. That's what happened. Hello. <laughs> Hello. Anyway, so Lock and Load Keynote, there's going to be a ton of good stuff. That's some of the stuff to look forward to. There's going to be a, a bunch of chunky content in there to chew on. Um, it's going to be great. Yeah, I said it. I'm going to be roaming like around that. the show as well, just live streaming random stuff that I find yeah. interesting. But uh, definitely join us for that. Like I said, um, it's going to give you a roadmap <laughs> for basically the next like nine months uh, for CID. Um, and a bunch of other cool stuff that's coming out, and a couple of I think we're going to announce a couple of licenses that we have that are coming that are pretty cool. Yeah. Um, like it's going to be loaded, so definitely come check it out. Uh, it'll be, it'll be the hype train is real. Would the hype train it? is so real that I'm trying to be really careful. I don't do a five CP thing right now. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Whoopsie! Woo! I can't take that back. Would you call it locked and loaded? As terrible as it is every time. I say no. That. no, no, no. It's it is neither locked nor loaded yet. But it will be on Friday at 9 a.m. <laughs> I'm so excited. Like a and even potato. if I don't have two hangouts for a Company of Iron, I'm going to have as many Company of Iron forces as I can cram into an army bag. Yeah. And then the cards. That's and so many. Tokens. And I'm preparing well, It one. depends on model count. No, I mean, it's a I lot. I can bring you a bunch. Like, it's a lot. I, I could get, we got you covered. I could get 10 mechan thralls and 10 carrying thralls and then something else in a 25 point I list. mean you could that's a lot of models but or I was thinking one the other day that's a Kriya yeah. and a Drake and a minimum beast handler unit yeah yeah and then the beast handler <laughs> leader awesome. just like whips them well there's and there's two uh, beast wardens mm-hmm, in there. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. so yeah you got you got one yeah. leader for each monster yeah. and then you just got these guys who've got these two big weird toad things I like and you it. hope you don't die I like it yeah. I, I personally uh, would love to make a commando army with the commando UA because that's legit mm-hmm. question hey one I'm actually working on that right now because i'm a monster yeah but real question and this is a question from brian will convergence be in company of iron will convergence yeah. have uh, models? technically everything that is in war machine is basically in company of iron you can only build armies with basically solos and light war jacks and that kind of stuff units and units, and units. <laughs> not um, just solos but you use all the, solos like, all the like time we, like if you've uh, taken a break from us to listen to our podcast and you've come back to watch this later you build the points with the points in War Machine, and you build mm-hmm. 20 or 25 point armies. So basically, anything playable inside that window of model types is playable in Company of Iron. Which answers the follow up question for Jordan of can you play Company of Iron with models you already own? Mm-hmm. Yes. Yes. Yeah, absolutely. Yes. You are encouraged to. Yeah. I know it's hard. I am not where they. You should move the you. camera so that <laughs> yeah. you are the camera. Yeah. And then we won't look at you when you're talking okay, I'll to just, us. I'll just come over here now. People. I'll just be in a place that you find polite as I bump things. Now we're just, mm-hmm. I don't know if I like where you're standing because <laughs> this is now uncomfortable. <laughs> now I have to look too high. Yeah, I won't deal with it. I need to just squat. <laughs> I'll just be here now. Squat down. Move your there chair. You it's not bolted go. to the ground, you mm-hmm. monster. And you're looking at chat on your phone. We're you're, obviously you're new. Don't tell them <laughs> that. Don't tell them my secrets. <laughs> Everyone knows you live on your phone. It's true. <laughs> All day, every day. Here's a question from Kylo. <laughs> Mm-hmm. What has been our biggest change in CID from concept to finished rules due Ooh. to player feedback? Ooh. Biggest change in concept? Uh, 
Well, we completely reimagined a couple of Arcana cards. Yeah, we, I mean, we cut two like, entirely yeah. and made two additional ones. We and also just completely redid Cray, like from the ground up. Yeah. He has like two yeah. rules that are the same. Yeah. But I mean, I don't so. know if that necessarily changed his concept. Just brought him more in line with the concept. Yeah, sure. We sure. we generally stick to concept because concepts get established sometimes years and years before. Yeah, but because I mean, model concepting and sculpting and all that stuff is based on what type of model it's mm -hmm. supposed to be. Mm -hmm. So we can't say, well, this cab solo is going to become something else. Mm -hmm. It's not going to become a battle engine generally. But you know, I think Cray, as far as like just number of changes, Cray is probably the winner Cray, right now. Maybe Old Witch 3 and Grimkin. She, she got a lot. She did get a lot of adjustments and changes. But she also had two versions, so it's kind of like cheating. Yeah, true. And if you're talking true. about pre-CID, internal testing, I think hat trick on the, on the Dreamer changed mm. a oh, bunch God. of times. Mm -hmm. we, we tried every iteration of it's things still like in that CID. and then yeah and yeah. then we did tweak it a little bit more so yeah, sometimes true. rules go through a lot of iterations mm -hmm. before yeah. we hit the place where we want them to be but we generally stick along the same concept like the dreamer she was always going to have phantasms right. she was always going to turn things into phantasms we had already made them so yeah. they had to exist yeah. <laughs> and could, they're awesome we couldn't have cut that concept at any point after that little because the sculpting had been done they're the best so many of those little mice oh, dude they're all over the place yeah <laughs> For Devin out there, as we we shift gears all over the place, it's like some sure. sort of bad Maxian. Are we Tokyo drifting right we're now? We're Tokyo uh -huh. drifting. Are we, are we Dev drifting? We're, we're speeding through the desert. Dev I'm drifting. making Oz bad Hashtag, by yeah. just like ruining Hashtag everything. Dev drifting. Yeah. Yeah. Hashtag <laughs> Dev drift. I like, I like it. it. I'm ruining everything. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> well, I'm so sorry, Oz. I no, told no. you so many rules, and I'm breaking fine. all of them right now. I was totally right couldn't mention any other. Next time, I'm gonna let you wear whatever shirt you want. He can say whatever he wants. What's the He's question? In the, que the question from Devin. <laughs> Hello, Devin. Hello, Devin. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, no, I don't know. Can we give them a potential spoiler for Northkin? There's a bunch in the thing that just released. Yeah. I was going to say, I think, I think if you go listen to Primecast. What's something we didn't mention in uh, Primecast? I wasn't there, so don't look at me. Let me see. You have Thank the wrong will. I, this is not the will you're looking well, for. Well, I guess, uh, I could Jackson, can we give them a spoiler? <laughs> Yeah, it's I like think a, like a model. I could also <laughs> I could just mention the things I I remember us talking about in Primecast. No, we should give him something new. Uh, no, I mean did to you not talk to about eliminate in Primecast. No, we we didn't. Did you talk about the? I like having some stuff for it. The, the bears. Yeah. yeah, we talked about bears. Okay. We talked about bears. We talked about the did ice you troll. Talk about uh, Valka. No, yeah, uh, so. that's that's the, the warlock, right? No. That's, oh that's, no, that's the other one. Oh. Yeah. Valka, yeah. the crazy guy. Oh, yeah. Well, he was yeah. crazy, and then he became yeah. less crazy, and now he's kind of crazy, but he's not so much crazy. Yeah. So, because he lost his crazy friends uh -huh. sure. in a bad breakup, uh -huh. I guess. <laughs> there was a lot of a lot of bar fighting. Uh, so, Valka Curseborn is who you're talking about, and he is a solo for the Northkin. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. uh, maybe we did talk about. I don't remember. Whatever. We'll talk. <laughs> I don't about think it again. we did. <laughs> uh, this guy is a combat solo monster. Yes. Uh, so he. He's so much fun. He's, I don't know exactly what kind of weapons he has, but he's dual wields, melee weapons. He's got like two cursed axes, I believe, which yeah. like, made him the cursed. Yeah. Yes. Cursed born. Cursed born. Whatever. He wasn't born with the axes, though, so it's a little strange, but we're not going to that. The one. curse was born. born with the axes. Maybe. They Might were like in his hands. Them. Yeah, he came out. Oh, sure, sure. Came sure. out ready to go. He was born uh, to the curse. But this guy has like every special rule known to man, much like Finn. He has like all of He is kind of Trollkin Finn, actually. Yeah, yeah. Without he, the gun. He he's got no he gun. He doesn't shoot, but he makes up for that. He's got like. The, the trooper version of Hollow Avenger, I mm -hmm. forget what that's called exactly. Righteous, Righteous Vengeance. Yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. He's got that. He's got Unyielding. He's mm -hmm. got mm -hmm. uh, two initial melee attacks. He's Mad mm -hmm. 8, Pow 12, Weapon Master. Uh, he's got Counter Charge. Mm -hmm. He's got mm -hmm. Retaliatory Strike. Mm -hmm. So, like, this guy just he's, he just punches stuff. He's, he's like, pretty terrifying. <laughs> yeah. So, he's, he's a combat powerhouse. And then the new Northkin Creelstone Bear Elder. Has one of his calls that he can do is plus two strength to warrior models. So this guy becomes two pow fourteen, weapon master melee attacks with that. It's pretty good. Yeah, pretty which good. is is substantial. He's got a grudge. It's pretty aces, no doubt. Yeah. I'm I'm gonna take a question from Doug Hammy. Mm. Oh. Doogie I'm, Hams. I'm gonna modify it though, because oh, he's he's saying does Schick work it out? He looks real bulked up. But I'm gonna change that to the question of who is the bulkiest person in the room. The bulkiest. But person when you say in bulk, do you mean like most muscle. cut? The most cut. Oh, know? we're talking about muscle. Yeah, who's I'm, the most wow. cut in this room I'm right now? Not. I'm gonna go with not Tony. It's not Tony. Oh, uh, as in Tony's Tony. Not even in the room. As in Tony doesn't exist. Right. The, yeah. the yeah, yeah, yeah. non-existence no of Tony. Tony is what I am choosing. Yeah. It's I mean, not. It's not. Given mean. that Tony doesn't do anything around here, how could he even have <laughs> muscles? Well, he's got at least one kid. 
Yeah, but that two. doesn't mean anything. You gotta he pick got to He had children to be a, to be his workforce. Mm -hmm. He doesn't do anything for himself now. Like, give me that remote. Exactly. He doesn't even Brilliant. point. Yeah. Brilliant. He, it's not me. I don't exercise. He mostly just uses like a series of complex whistles. Mm -hmm. Dude, I went to the Sheepdog show last weekend. I Speaking heard of very complex whistles. Complex whistling, whistles. Uh -huh. Very impressive. You guys should check that. I out. I missed it. Chance. I'm a bad friend. It prepped you for <laughs> Lieutenant War Snuzzles. It did. Mm -hmm. yeah. I can control my, my yeah, control dog with only a whistle. Unit. Yeah. Perfect. <laughs> <laughs> It'd be an objective. We need an objective. It's a bunch of oh, sheep. Oh, I'm so doing that when I make my trencher objectives. It's going to be a bunch it's of sheep. It's going to be a sheep, mm. a sheep herd. Mm -hmm. in All right. But we, and we, that silence seems to say that we're about ready to wrap up. That is correct. That is why we ended with one of the more ridiculous questions of the, sure. of the day. <laughs> one of, we did, one one we of the more ridiculous either, which is great. <laughs> so uh, next time, dot, dot, dot. Thanks, Tony. <laughs> next thanks, time, thanks, not Tony. Next time you visit us, we'll let you know ahead of time. We'll be talking about the Northken CID. Yes. So the next time you'll get to see everybody in this room or some combination of everybody in this room. There will be, be for wills Ken. in this room yeah. for sure. At least yeah, two. We, we, we probably out three. Hungerford, who's at Origins probably. for Schick. That's right. Because but we're be all replaceable. Change. I think so. I feel like as I long like as he's going to spoil things, I, like it. I think he'll be more popular. A legion of will. Mm. So. Mm. And we are a legion. And some tiered seating, maybe, so we could people... Maybe that'd be even good. Yeah. 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 I'm work my anyway, yeah, until yeah, next I'll be time. sure um, to bring up more things that I think are public that clearly aren't uh, <laughs> next time on CID First Shot. So join us next week. Same bat time, same bat channel. Boom. See you later. Goodbye.